Well, I hate to uh, apologize, but I will apologize. I just took a couple hours of sleep, and wouldn't you know, as soon as I went to sleep, everything changed. So if you're just coming in, you'll be like really befuddled and confused. I can only give very short intros. We got to just jump into it. So Tommy Scoville basically hooked up with Aaron Smith Lovin a while back to do commentaries on the Danny Masterson case because Scoville, he admits this, this is all he admits, unfortunately, that he did some bank robberies and he was in prison a long time. So Aaron had him on as a prison expert. So where does Reese come in? Well, Reese was in Scientology. She's from a very privileged background, but again, like a lot of cult members, she had a very hard time in Scientology and she was feeding Aaron and Mike Rinder information as a spy. And Aaron being the usual stupid moron he is, accidentally gave out her information. The cult found out, oh, you're spying on us? And kicked her out of the organization. Then out of nowhere, for God only knows why, Tommy and Reese decided to have a relationship together. They even created a YouTube channel together. And a lot of the SPTV fandom was like, oh my God, love is love. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I mean, some people had questions. Other people were throwing up. I was more in the throwing up category. I'm like, what the hell is happening here? But okay, they're adults. But then, wouldn't you know, it got more steadily weird, creepy, and disturbing on so many levels because, see, Reese has a certain tendency to hook up with men, break up with them, and then tell very long stories. And some of these stories are true. Some of these stories are false. So some people suspected that Tommy was the victim in all this. But then other people pushed against that narrative and said, no, 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 Reese is the victim because Scoville admitted to some things he did. But his record is a lot darker than people think and he recently admitted it but in a very snarky way not again and i shouldn't because it just gives the trolls so much fun but i don't give a crap uh i had a statutory case with a 15 year old did you hear that okay they'll take this clip i had a statutory case with a 15 year old well brett miller that's his real name it's not tommy scoville if you look under brett allen miller you will find a very big criminal record that fits scoville And yes, it includes bank robberies and other things. So the way he's framing it is he just had sex as a very young man. That is the story he's pushing. However, if you look at the dates correctly, that doesn't seem to be true. It is true he was a young man, but it could just be he was a young man who um, hurt a young girl. But he's saying, oh, no, it's statutory. See, he was just in love. He was very young in love. Alrighty then. Now, for about a year, he denied anything happened. He said, what are you talking about, bud? What are you doing? What are you bringing that up for? That didn't happen. Oh, that's the Church of Scientology. That's propagandas. Now he just blandly admits, oh, yeah, it's true. It's true. It wasn't church propaganda. It was true. So this whole thing is a mess. And it just got even more crazy because apparently now Brett has decided to break up with Reese. And as I speak, literally as I'm speaking, Reese is on live as being very sad. She's not attacking Scoville. She's just saying, "Um, it's over, guys. We're not ever going to do content. We're not going to have contact. It's over. I'm moving on. He's moving on. So she's not directly attacking him, but she is saying, yeah, it's over. We're not going to we're not going to have any contact. And Scoville at the very beginning is saying, we agreed. We agreed to what I said. I don't understand this. Why are you going on live? And you think these are the only big scoops? Oh, no, it gets even more dark and more crazy. And I could only stomach about 30 minutes of his uh, whining. But Scoville acknowledges this. So he went on one of his videos and said that apparently someone has a recording where he threatens someone. Now he's saying, no, it's not a threat. But he does admit there's some kind of recording. So apparently in some kind of recording, he got really hot and angry and was lashing out at someone. So the theory is here that Reese has been recording a lot of their conversations and their interactions. And apparently he's trying to get some blackmail on him. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds more and more crazy the more you go into it. Now, he acknowledges there is some kind of recording out there, but it's not a threat. Do I believe him at this point? Not really. And who is he threatening? Why? Is it Reese herself and Reese got him on tape and was going to use that as leverage to control him? I don't know. I don't know. But the problem is these ex-Scientologists are um, 
pretty vicious people. Like things that would be normally outrageous, they just do it all the time, right? Record you, keep tabs on you, spy on you. It's like, yeah, it's just, it's just what they do. Again, I'm not trying to make Scoville into a victim here. I'm just saying there are two sides to the story. So it could be they just mutually agreed that, yeah, this is going to get more and more escalated. So they decided to, uh, yeah, we're just going to part ways because you see Scoville is trying to run several different scams with him and his brother. Yeah, he and his brother have been terrorizing people behind the scenes, sometimes in front of the camera. So it's just very disturbing and dark. And then we have Reese's son, Huxley, who she was inspired to now suddenly have his own YouTube channel and get on camera and talk to Tommy. So yeah, it's all very disturbing and disgusting. So if they have really broken up, I think that's a good thing because even though they are both adults, I think it's just very risky what Reese is doing, but it is her life. On the other hand, Hux could be in danger, right? Now, I know some people are being snarky and assuming that, hey, maybe Scoville was trying to get to Huxley. I don't want to think about that stuff. I really don't. I will just say, as we conclude, Scoville has been doing a series of videos on P. Diddy. Now, he has been formally charged with this, and apparently there are lawsuits on the way. These are rumors we don't know, but there are rumors that he had uh, relations with underage persons. Yeah. And Scoville, in his videos, keeps mocking him, saying, yeah, there's all these rumors about him and Justin Bieber. Right. So we got a guy with the statutory mocking and making fun of and doing commentaries on P. Diddy when his own background is P. Diddy-ish. It's all very disturbing. It's all very disturbing. And wouldn't you know, Brett got a couple of thousand new subscribers so you can't knock the grift it works he's saying guys i'm an ex-convict but i've seen the error of my ways i'm batman i'm saving the city i'm protecting the women's and children's well apparently reese does not believe in his protection grift anymore and saying yeah we're just gonna have to say goodbye but she does tell people saying oh, guys i don't hate tommy please don't hate tommy all righty then i guess just tommy is uh, okay but you know there's a danger there's a thing. I mean, the guy is not this hulking beast. He's not Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? He's not Bruce Willis. He's not Sylvester Stallone, all right? He's like, uh, you know, he looks like a chihuahua. You know, he's not exactly, <laughs> he's not exactly uh, the Rock Johnson here, okay? Yeah, he's not uh, frightening in that way. On the other hand, he does have a big criminal record. So, you know, I don't know. It, it was all disturbing to begin with. So luckily, if the relationship is over, at least Huxley is safe. But I don't know, uh, if Reese was doing all these recordings, she jumped onto the Aaron channel just to help boost her subscribers. She's lost a few people. But no, it may be a new propaganda drive. And there we go. We've gone from literal Reese to Reese Osa KGB Black Widow spy woman keeping tabs on her lovers and recording them and making sure they uh, obey her orders. Yeah. Just another day in the insanity of SPTV land. Oh, let me just give a shout out to Knife Hoarder. He has been doing an excellent job keeping tabs on all this. So I want to give a final shout out to him. He does a lot of great work on this. So if you want more details, as disturbing as they are, uh, give him a chance.